All right, we're getting back on our Model A block here. We've got to go ahead and fix this uh, crack right here. Nice uh, little one right there. I've already pre-drilled a hole right there to fix this. Uh, try to stitch up this here. We're going to use Lock and Stitches product here to try to fix this. Uh, this is the uh, screw right here I'm going to use. I don't know if that's in focus or not. I can't tell. Then we're going to go ahead and tap out this hole, put this screw in here, stick it on down inside the hole down there, and we've got to tap it and all that first. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this as we're looking, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll pull back slightly here, so get a better idea where we're at. Okay, first thing I do is put this hole in here. We already drilled out with this drill right here with a stop on it. So we'll make sure we duplicate this angle. So figure out what angle exactly I had it in there at. Obviously it was over here. So we'll put the tap in here and drive it through the same angle. Get my cutting fluid here. Just go and see what happens. <coughs> it's very thin right here, so I'm not sure how this is even going to work. It's supposed to be at least an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths preferred thickness, and I doubt if we're even a hundred. sealer stuff here. Generous supply. Stick a little bit down here too, what the hell. Can't have too much. Try this with power tools. Snap torque might make it go in better. There we go. Yeah, it's in there. Our little magnet piece in there. Of course, it dropped right in the hole there. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me get this out of here. It's out. Somewhere in there is where it went to. Well, all right. How'd that look? You see in there? Yep. So there's the broken off pin down in there now. So that's now locked in. So we're going to put a drill right next to that. Follow that crack up the line. And keep on it. I think I'm going to have to grind that away a little bit in there too. Probably wouldn't hurt. So I'll go ahead and cut that back a little bit.
next to it. some of the chips. I let the tap do the guiding of the hole, kind of self centers. Right, all the way through again. Get a little bit too much angle on that screw. Not much I can do about it now, though. There's another screw here. Got it started. Give it a zip gun here to flash it in. Slightly lower than I want to be, so I'll go up a little bit. Starting to grind some of that screw away so we get in there close to another one. I'm going to mark the screw to get a more highlight to it, or the crack, I mean. This again. Let's see. Try to make it straight to the screw. Time a little 
little bit. I'll have to readjust that next time. Good. I'm gonna do it with my tap. Right in front of me. Okay, I got my tap panel here. Lubricant on it. Special cutting fluid to give you. through again. there again. Let's try to start it with us this time. Okay, kind of let the screw find the hole. And we'll zip it in there again. That's the piece you get left over. Trash, get rid of them. Okay. It looks like it's going to do the trick. So, got a good view of that there. You can kind of see what's going on. I'll do a close up on this one. See if that helps any. Yeah, that's good. Leave it just above the surface. 